Okay, right here is a 2003 Liebherr T252. The T252 series was first introduced by Liebherr in 1998 and was based largely on the designs of the larger KL2450 off-road mining truck. Now, let's go and get a closer look at the T252. T-252 utilizes four air intakes and air cleaners for the engine. You can see one set of air intakes and air cleaners right here, and the other is on the opposite side. Now let's talk a little bit about the powering system on this truck. Four different engine options were offered for the T-252, depending on what the customer preferred, which included an MTU Detroit 12V 4000 series V12 diesel engine with a power rating ranging from 1,725 to 2,025 horsepower. Additionally, three different Cummins engines were offered for the T-252, which included a QSK 45, a K1800E and a K2000E with power ratings ranging from 1800 to 2000 horsepower. The front suspension system on the T252 consists of a double A-frame with an inclined kingpin for minimal scrub distance, in addition with two nitrogen over oil suspension struts, one of which you can see right here. And this is what provides the truck with suspension when it's driving. side of this truck is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here, which holds 380 gallons of hydraulic oil. Below the hydraulic oil tank, you can see the centralized service fluid filling station. And located on the right side of this truck is a 650 gallon diesel fuel tank. From right here, you can get a good view of the superstructure on the T-252. And from under here, you can see where the two steering cylinders are located, and you can see where they connect to the tie rods, and this is what will turn the front tires left or right when it's driving. The Liebherr T-252 featured a General Electric drive system, which utilized a GE Model GTA 22 alternator and a pair of GE Model 788 traction wheel motors in the rear wheel hubs with static three control. to help give you an idea of the size of a T-252. This truck measures 21 feet 3 inches tall, 
from the ground to the top of the canopy over the operator's cab. 23 feet 3 inches wide and the overall length of this truck from end to end is 43 feet 6 inches. Now, let's go up on top of the big T-252. From here you can get a good overview of the top deck on the T-252. Right here you can see the electrical switch cabinet which contains all the electrical, relays and electronics to work this truck. Now let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the T-252. Okay. Directly out in front of the operator, you can see all of the gauges to monitor this truck when it's in operation. From left to right, the gauges are as follows. Volts amps, water temperature, engine oil pressure, and fuel. Here you can see the speedometer and the tachometer, and as you can see, both of these gauges are digital. And off to the left and right side control panels, you can see other switches, warning lights, and controls to work other various functions on this truck. This hand lever that you see back here, on the right side, controls the truck's direction. This is in the neutral position right here. Switch this controller to the right to put this truck in reverse, and switch it to the left to put this truck in forward gear. This hand lever that you see right here controls the dump box to raise or lower it. And from right here, you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were driving a T-252.
The T-252 was designed and built off a 19-foot, 1-inch wheelbase and is equipped with a 3,300 horsepower dynamic braking system. The rear suspension system on the T-252 consists of three-bar linkage with a triangular upper link design to transfer 100% of all side loads from the frame into the rear axle and two separate drag links to transfer all driving forces directly into the frame girders. In addition, with two nitrogen over oil suspension struts. The T-252 had a maximum allowable payload rating between 190 and 215 ton capacity. And the overall empty operating weight of a T-252 is 142 and a half tons. This truck remained in production until 2004, when it was dropped from Liebherr's product line. But there she is, a 2003 Liebherr T-252.